In order to learn, we have to do something. And we have to think about what did we do? Did it work or did it not work? I'm Thomas Grønlund. I'm a training project manager at GWO in Copenhagen. Taxonomy is a way of describing what is easy to learn and what is more complicated to learn. GWO standards are created by the industry for the industry. They're delivered by training providers on behalf of employers and employers want to be reassured that the training is of a good basic minimum standard wherever they find it. The taxonomy is a guide to help the instructor use his own experience in teaching how should I design and conduct learning activities. GWO training is all about investing in an active learning situation so that the learning objective is achieved and the learning is retained. The taxonomy also describes what should the auditors be looking for when they are out auditing the training. Finally, we also describe how should the instructor evaluate to see if they have actually reached the learning objectives. We have divided the taxonomy into three levels. The basic level, the intermediate level and the advanced level. Knowledge, skills and ability. So at a basic level you might be able to recite a fact about some kind of uh, healthcare condition in a first aid course. At an advanced level you will need to be able to administer the first aid. And in the GWO taxonomy they have a collection of words they call action verbs. Those are the glossary of terms that an instructor can rely on. An example of an action verb in the taxonomy could be discuss, that the participant is able to discuss a matter. It could be how to apply or how to use a life raft on an offshore site. There's a big difference between being able to actually discuss a matter or just on the lower taxonomy level being able to describe that there is a life raft. There are 24 action verbs in total. It may sound like a lot, but we have narrowed it down to what we think is the most usable action verbs. The GWO taxonomy will, at the end of the day, lead to a more safe and injury-free work environment because training will be more focused and the learning objectives will be met more precisely. Look into the future. GWO standards, the taxonomy, deliver a good foundation so that employers can rely on a fundamental level of safety training wherever they find it in the world. And that's essentially the mission of GWO, to make this level of basic safety training available to support the workers wherever they are.